Hey Vash, <clears throat> thanks for sending me your next video in mate, I appreciate it. A um, couple of things uh, that I'm picking up when you're doing these, when you're doing these slow motion practice swings. Um, and I love the way that you, you've set the sticks up, you've set the target line up, going down there. Um, so everything's set up correctly. Um, the first thing I would say is as you take it away, the club's a little low and on the inside. Right. If anything, your left arm's maybe a little bit too much across your body. The club head is definitely too low and behind your hands at P2. And what that's generally doing is it's pulling you a little bit to the right. Right. So I would say when you're about here, when you get your hands outside your right thigh, try and feel as though the club head is up higher. Try and feel that, like the club head is above your hands. By that point and then when you look at it from down the line if anything your club head will slightly be slightly outside your hands at that point right at that point and what that does is it just gets your hands and the club head moving back on those sticks um, moving back on concentric circles right um, so that's the first one and of course from it being low and behind your hands you then get very very deep hands are too deep too behind you because really we just want your arm there we want your hands about in the middle of your chest we want your hands in the club going maybe through the middle of your bicep or the base of your bicep yours is going your hands are going underneath your shoulder look right so it's just a little flat a little deep with your hands a little bit too much across your body with your left arm and like i said that that pulls you to the right so then you've got a little bit of space in here and in here, next to your hips, it pulls your head, pulls your hips to the right. Um, and then as you start down, your head moves forward. And I don't mind your head moving forward just a little bit, just to about there, but let's say. And it's then that your hips start turning forward and around, right? So your hips should gradually follow those dots throughout the downswing. So let's say there's your spine angle. The first part of your downswing, you get to there, your spine angle changes to there. You come down a little further, your spine angle should change to there. You come down a little further, your spine angle should change to there. Right, you get the idea. So your upper body wants to stay more in the box. The center of your shoulders wants to stay more in the box as you move your lower body more forward. And then as you carry on down, yes, you're following the sticks, but you can see your head now completely moved out of the box and then your spine angle looks like that, right? So by following the the, the the dots with your hips, it kind of gets you to that position. You should have some back bend, right? By about that, so by about, by about P8 here, you should see some prominent back bending back. If anything, you're bending forward, right? What I'm also noticing as you're coming down, I think we spoke about this in your in your in-person lesson, is by the time you're at P6 here, um, yes, your lower body should have moved forward, you should have a little bit of right tilt, which means your right shoulder should be lower than your left shoulder. But as you're coming down to this position, your hands at P6, they don't forget the shaft parallel with the ground is P6 there. Your hands should be over your right thigh at this point, right? So you could pull up, um, you could pull up a ton of torpros who are all at P6 with the hands somewhat over their right thigh, right? So just practice that as well. So, so you, you're definitely on the right track with regards to your practice movements, but I want you practicing it more efficiently and slowly so that when you do start hitting balls, your brain remembers where to be in each position. Um, and then you can kind of try and hit those positions when you're moving a bit faster. Okay, mate, so uh, maybe go to the range tonight and uh, do the same again. I love the way that we're doing this, slow motion drills, and then I'll, uh, I'll kind of critique it and, uh, and send you back another, another couple of videos doing that. Thanks, bud.